Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be benchmarking my newly acquired MSI Vanguard RTX 5090 graphics card. We're going to be testing uh, the 3D Mark Time Spy, Port Royal, Steel Nomad, and Speedway. But first I'm going to go over the system settings that I'm currently running. So for motherboard I'm running an MSI X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard. For CP, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D CPU. And for memory, I'm running 32 gigabytes of G Skill Z5 DDR5 PC PC 64 RAM with CL32 timings. And then for GPU, I'm running a of course MSI Vanguard 5090 with an overclock. And I am running a dedicated 16-pin uh, C Sonic power cable. Powering all this is a C Sonic 1300 watt platinum ready power supply. And for cooling the CP, I'm running a Corsair H170i, H170i Elite LCD, which has a 420mm radiator. And for case, I'm running a Corsair Obsidian 1000D Super Tower case. And the case will be closed uh, during the benchmark process. Now the MSI. Afterburner overclock settings, my Vanguard 5090. I have 100% forced core voltage, power limit raised to 104%, core clock and additional 300 megahertz, and memory over overclocked and additional 2000 megahertz. I'm just gonna leave the fan to the auto profile. I probably can get higher scores if I raise the fan speed, but I'm just gonna use the auto fan profile that way you guys can hear how the fans sound. And then let me go ahead and refresh. Tech power to PZ. So we are P running PCI Express 5.0 bandwidth. And these are the GPU boost clocks in GPUZ. And then for CP, like I said, I'm running an AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D CPU. Essentially, it's sock. I have a 170 uh, watt power limit, and I'm running a negative 20 PBO offset. And then for the RAM, like I said, 32 gigabytes G scale DDR5 RAM, CL32 timings, and 6400 megahertz uh, mega transfer rate. Okay, so like I said, we will run. Uh, we're going to run Times by Extreme, Port Royal, Steel Nomad, and Speedway. So let me get um, Times by Extreme started. And uh, we'll get started right away. Enjoy. All right, we're loading up Time Spike Stream. We're going to start with the graphics test number one. And I will try to show you GPU clock speeds. And we will monitor the temperatures, power draw, and we'll also monitor the sound that the GPU is making. So, I've got the case closed right now. As you can hear, the fans are nice and quiet, nothing overly loud, no coil line. Maintaining 31, 35 megahertz core clock, pulling 552 watts, 100% GP utilization, and a temperature of 58 degrees Celsius. So very, very good so far. 35% fan speed, now 36. Loading up uh, graphics test number two for Times by Extreme. Pulling 600 watts there, 604 watts. Sixty degrees Celsius. Again, the fans are nice and quiet. No coil line. No unusually loud fan noise. Sixty-two degrees Celsius. Sixty-three now. Sixty-four. 
and no unusual fan noise, just nice and quiet. Try to show the full screen view here. 64 degrees Celsius. Now 66. Okay, now we've got the CPU test. So we're gonna look at the CPU temperatures now once this gets loaded up here. And this should pretty much put a lot of load on the CPU and we'll see how the Ryzen 9 950X for DCPU responds. 74 degrees Celsius, 165 watts, 158, 154, 74 degrees Celsius. Looks like it balanced out at about 73 degrees Celsius there for the CP test, and now we will see our final score here. Twenty three thousand nine ninety one graphic score of twenty seven thousand three hundred four, CP score of fourteen thousand two hundred seven, and these are the GPU clock speeds that we maintain through the, the test. Okay, so good enough. I've seen it score a little bit higher. I've seen it go a little over 24,000, but that's fine. Close enough. And uh, let me pull up my prior scores in the Astro 5080, and we'll see how it compares. Actually, I take that back. I've never run Time Spice Extreme with the 5080, so this is 5090 test was the first one that I ever did, so my bad. So that's going to be a new uh, upload for uh, Time Spice Extreme. 23,991 and um, there was a score again so fair enough okay so next we will run Port Royal and we'll see how that runs so stay tuned okay now we're loading Port Royal and Port Royal is a score is a benchmark that we can't compare to 5080 to because I did run that prior as well as Speedway and um the other one, which I forgot the name of it, still no med. So, go ahead and get this loaded up and we'll monitor the GPU performance. And this is only a GPU test, so there's really not going to be any CPU utilization, it's just very minor, if anything. So, running about 30, 30, the 2970 megahertz, 70, 63 degrees Celsius, 3067, 540 watts, 579. Again, the GPU is nice and quiet. No unusual fan noise, no coil wide. Just briefly before I showed the camera, it was at 604 watts, a little bit of a spike there. So yeah, the 5090 certainly does pull a whole lot of power, no doubt. Give you a full screen look here. Again, no unusual GPU noise. 603 watts there. Sixty-eight degrees Celsius. So this one's heating up the GPU a little bit more because it's a longer test. And of course, I'm running hundred percent force voltage. So I mean, you know, given that this isn't the top spec GPU, it is going to run a little bit warmer, which will reduce the clock speed a little bit. So sixty-nine degrees Celsius is looks like where it's going to probably top out at here. All right, we'll see our score. 
FPS. And these are the clock speeds we maintain. Anywhere from 2900 megahertz to 3037 looks like. So not too bad. All right, so now we'll compare the 5080 Astral to this uh, score of Port Royal. Okay, my Port Royal score with the RTX 5080 Astral, 25,278. And with the 5090, 39,832. And just if you're curious, 4090 in Port Royal got 28,305 with the Ryzen 9 7950X UD CPU. So 28,305 versus 39,832. So pretty good substantial boost there, as you can see there. So very good. Okay, so next we'll test out uh, Steel Nomad, so stay tuned. All right, loading up a uh, Steel Nomad here. Oh, my mistake. I noticed I started Steel Nomad live, but I re, uh, started it, and now we're writing the standard Steel Nomad graphics test. I'm glad I caught it before I recorded the footage. Okay, maintaining 2985 to 3000 megahertz, 63 degrees Celsius. 599 watts. Maybe just a slight hint of coil of wine, nothing too serious. But just a slight hint, nothing too unusual. 602 watts there, 65 degrees Celsius. Now, this test usually is pretty fast, so we'll try to. Uh, so the full screen view here, maintaining 2985 to 3007 megahertz, pulling about 600 watts. Okay, so now we got a higher score here. That one's pretty quick, so 15,240 with the FPS at 152.41. And these are the GPU clock speeds we maintain throughout the test. So not too bad. All right, so we'll compare the 5080 Astral and Steel Nomad, and we'll see how it compares. Okay, so the Astral 5080 got 9,541 in Steel Nomad, and the 5090 got 15,240. So nice little booster. Not too bad. All right, so next we'll run Speedway, and then we'll be done with our benchmark, so stay tuned. All right, loading up Speedway. Now this test is pretty quick, so I'm gonna be pretty fast on showing the GPU, as well as the actual GPU running inside the case. So we'll try to uh, show both sides here, so. 3090 megahertz, 572 watts, 583, 60 degrees Celsius. GPU nice and quiet. Now we're upwards of 62 degrees Celsius, 30, 60 megahertz, 575 watts, 100% GPU utilization. And with the case closed, overall pretty quiet. Try to get the full screen view here. 30, 67 megahertz, 65 degrees Celsius now. Still 100% GPU utilization, and like I said, this fast test, which uh, makes sense. It's called Speedway. And we got a score of 15,231 with a FPS of 152.32. And these are the GPU clock speeds we maintain, so 3082, 
30, 52. So yeah, not too bad. All right, so now we'll compare the Astral 5080 in Speedway. Okay, so the Asus Astral 5080 got 9,860. And the 5090 got 15,231. So nice little performance boost with the 5090. All right, very good. Well, that shows you how the MSI Vanguard RTX 5090 when overclocked performs in 3D Mark benchmarks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, do give this video a like. If you want to see more content like this, more Vanguard RTX 5090 game benchmarks, along with my Ryzen 9 9950X3 DCP, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Appreciate all the support and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and peace out.